<coughs> Good morning <clears throat> and Merry Christmas. Welcome to the mothership. I am, of course, the commander, General Lax Sivrak. Good to see everyone today. It's Christmas morning. I took my c cubs back to their mother yesterday. So uh, I'm spending Christmas morning making this video for you. This video is brought to you by Dylan. This video is all is uh it's brought to you by Dylan through this bag of coffee. Uh, today we're drinking this Cass Brew Coffee Appalachian Nights. We'll have a full review on this maybe later. Um, I'm getting ready to go back to work. That's why I have my Jacob Night Horse slash Tom Jackson haircut. Do you know who Tom Jackson is? He was in, uh... No, I'm not going to give you any other clues. Anyway, do you know... Jacob Nighthorse? Jacob Nighthorse? Tom Jackson? Lack Sibrat. Yeah, baby. I also have a coat like Tom Jackson, actually. Anyway, uh... I just wanted to talk to you, uh, I guess, a little bit about Christmas. When, uh... I guess you could call this a story time. Call it the Reflecting Pond. <laughs> oh, that would be a cool um, name for a series. The Reflecting Pond or something like that. So when... Uh, man, I had some terrible fucking dreams last night. About my kids. and Not, a, not that my kids are terrible, but you know. It really sucks, the shit situation that I'm in, but I don't let it get me down, and I don't let myself feel sorry for myself, because it ain't about me. The part of it to me that I think really sucks is for my kids, so... But with a beautiful community like we have, I know I ain't alone. <laughs> so I appreciate everybody. I'll tell you uh, one of my favorite things about Christmas. And it's a tradition that was solely mine. But... But when I was about 20, 22 years old, the local priest and the village chief came to me and they said, well, what are you doing tonight? That's how you know every, somebody wants you to do something when they ask you, are you busy? Or say, are you busy? And they, you say no. And then they go, oh, well, okay. So you always think about it. Always think about it. If somebody says, oh, are you busy? You say Yes. <laughs> but, so the local preacher, Christmas is a big deal in the village where I'm from. And Christmas Eve, they have potlatch up at the hall, the tribal hall. We don't call it the tribal hall. We just call it the hall. Up the hall. But anyway, so the chief at that time and the local preacher came to me and they said, what are you doing? I said, nothing, why? What do you need? And they pulled out a Santa Claus suit. Now I'm 20-something years old. And they said, will you, will you come up to the hall and be Santa and pass out presents to the kids? And gee, I was embarrassed and so. I said, well, why don't you get so-and-so to do it? And they say, well, they're too small for the costume. I say, why don't you get so-and-so to do it? Well, they're too big for the costume. I say, why don't you get so-and-so to do it? And they say, well, they're too drunk. <laughs> and I'm about the same size 52 that I've always been. So they still put a pillow in my belly, though, because I, I'm pretty lean and mean. I mean, I'm definitely mean, can be. But I was pretty lean and mean. Too lean and mean for Santa Claus, but... 
So they said, come up the hall about this time, come in the back door. The suit will be there and so-and-so will help you get dressed and da 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 and I'm like, so I did, I went up there. <clears throat> and like, I have always had the, I really care about what I do. Sometimes it's my biggest flaw, but it's just like, just like Mark, what's your biggest, what's your biggest asset? Honesty. What's your biggest flaw? Honesty. Merry Christmas to you, Mark, at Blue Harvest. I hope you're doing well, brother. But so, uh, so before I went up there, you know, I was talking to my old lady at that time, Wicked Wanda. <laughs> and she said, you ought to be native Santa. She said, we never have real native Santa. So I dug out my mucklucks and my beaver mittens. And I went up there and before I went in, I I thought, man, doesn't Santa Claus, he shakes something at the people. I got a spruce bough off of a tree. And uh, I remember I got dressed and I was supposed to go out there, you go around with the sun, with the sun, you always go with the sun. You stir your soup with the sun, you pass the peace pipe with the sun. When you walk into a place and you go around to talk to people, you go with the sun. That's the way. That is the way. And so the chief, he said, okay, you do this. You go in there, say hello to all the elders, shake hands, come back to the chair, and then sit in the chair, and then so-and-so, she'll call all the kids up one by one, and you sit them on their lap, and you ho-ho-ho, and you give them a present. I said, oh, I can do that. <clears throat> and I sat back there, and I'd never been so nervous representing Santa Claus. For the kids, <laughs> that seemed like real serious shit. <laughs> real fucking serious, big time shit, you know? And so, old Duke, he come and got me. And uh, the spirit took over. And I had... Jingle bells on a string, and I had my spruce bow, and I came in there. Merry Christmas to all you peoples. You peoples, that's native. That's what we say. All you peoples. And I went around, and I shook everyone's hand, told them Merry Christmas. A lot of them old people, fuck, most all of them old people are dead now. <laughs> Even some of them kids are dead now. Because life is hard up there, man. Snow machine accidents and drowning and drinking too much. There's a lot of kids up there that don't never make it. <sighs> Being Santa Claus up there. Now look, I did that every year after that for probably 10 years. <laughs> I did it for a long time after that. And everybody always said, you're the best Santa. And when I'd get done, I'd leave. Merry Christmas to, to all and to all you peoples. Good night. When I'd get done, I'd go back to the back of that hall and fuck, I'd just cry. Because <laughs> the spirit moved me. It was one of my most favorite things I ever done. And I had to think about last night, you know, I... When my son was first born, I was working 
I was working somewhere else, making money for the family, you know. And their mom was supposed to, we were going to sell all this and we were going to move there because it was a good job. I was going to stay there. Well, she always had a reason never to be there. She always had a reason never to be there. My kids are two and three years old. And I never seen them with Santa. Every time something's going on, their mom always says, oh, I took them to see when we were together. She says, oh, I took them to see Santa while I was at work or driving to and from work or something. It made me sad. And they saw Santa last night, right after the, I dropped them off, not two hours, I got pictures from their mom with them with Santa. I never have gotten to see my kids see Santa. But I was Santa for a lot of other kids. So I guess it all works out. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know what the point of all that was. I just wanted to tell you all about it. It was one of my most proudest things I ever done. And I had done a lot of shit. And I had done a lot of shit that a lot of people would think might be cooler than just be Santa Claus. But, but in Nenana, Alaska, for about 10 years, I was Santa Claus, you know. And I loved it. I looked forward to it every year. And every year, I'd be nervous as hell before they called me. And when I got done and went back to get undressed, I'd just cry. <laughs> Happy cry. It was a beautiful fucking thing. It really was. And I loved it. I still love it. I don't know what else to say about it. But anyway. Hey. Merry Christmas to all you peoples. I love you.